Everywhere you turn, you have someone giving you style rules, telling you you can't wear this and you shouldn't wear that. And that's a little bit off-putting. I mean, who the hell made them the boss of you anyway? In today's video, I'm going over the plus size fashion rules that are ruining your style and in some ways even ruining your life. Hello, my name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist and my passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their best, to know that they can be beautiful and elegant and luxurious and all the things. Now, I know that ruining your life may seem a little bit overly dramatic, but a lot of these fashion rules can really mess with your head. And part of what I do as a personal stylist is help to deprogram a lot of these learnings that we have been fed our entire lives. And so that's what this video is about today. I'm going to talk about those five plus size fashion rules that as plus size women, we really should ignore. So let's go ahead and dive in. A lot of plus size women want to hide their tummy. They've got a lot of insecurity about their midsection and they think that leaving their shirt untucked is the way to do that. But actually it makes you look heavier because there is no defined shape. There is no focal point. And if you're petite, it's a double whammy because it works against you the most. It affects your proportions, making your legs look a lot shorter and your body looks a lot wider. So what I tell most of my clients is to just go for it. Do a full tuck, be all in and see how it defines the body and elongates the leg. You don't always have to do a full tuck if you don't want to. You can do a French tuck, AKA front tuck, or a variation of that, the side tuck. I'm showing you here a quick way of doing it. You just essentially take the fabric, you twist it around your finger, and then you just tuck it into your pant. And that helps to keep it all together and it makes for a really nice tuck. You can also use a hairband and there are loads of hacks on how to do this. But essentially what it does is it brings definition to your body and it also shows the legs, which makes you look taller and you end up looking a whole lot cleaner. You could also cover a full tuck with a jacket or blazer if you're really self-conscious. This is going to help break up the lines and it will camouflage your belly. It will make you look really streamlined, really polished and put together. Now, if you absolutely don't want to tuck in your shirt, then wear a shorter shirt that covers the belly but still keeps you better proportioned. I would say maybe a shirt that hits at no longer than the top of the hip bone. That way you still have a lot of your legs showing but you've got the coverage that you're looking for um, without really messing up your proportions. I would implore you to try and get used to tucking your shirt in because honestly, it looks so much better than wearing your shirts tucked out. Trust me on this. What you can do is you can practice at home, tuck your shirt in or do a half tuck or however you wanna tackle it while you're at home, get used to the idea and then venture out doing these things. That's a nice way of easing your way into learning how to break this plus size fashion rule. I know a lot of you are very nervous about wearing belts. It's one of the top comments that I get on my channel. And it's because this rule has also been pounded into your psyche all your life. But I have to say that without a belt, an outfit looks terribly unfinished or frumpy. Belts really do help define the waist, 
even as an apple shaped body. And it also helps an outfit look finished and polished. The trick to doing this for any body type is to place the belt at the smallest part of the waist on the body. This way you're not putting it across the biggest part of you, emphasizing that part of your body. Instead, you are emphasizing a smaller part of the body, which gives the illusion of being a little bit slimmer. So let's take a look at this dress that I'm wearing here. It looks okay without the belt, but when you add the belt, you have instant polish. The dress just looks cleaner, it looks better, it just looks more pulled together. The second dress that I'm showing you is one that is pretty shapeless without a belt. And I look really big, I look voluminous, I just don't look very well put together, I think. It needs to have a belt for waist definition, otherwise it's just going to be like a tent and that's not what we're looking for here. In the third outfit, you can use a belt to cover the elastic waistband that could be seen as frumpy. I know a lot of us, me included, love an elastic waisted pant because they're so easy, but they can look a little bit dated. If you add a belt, it's gonna look 100% better. We've been told through the ages that plus size women should hide our bodies in layers of fabric. And while I have nothing against flowy fabrics, I don't want to completely drape myself in them. The most flattering and tasteful way to show off your curves is to wear clothes that skim the body. It's gonna give your body definition, you're gonna get a sense of the body, but in a way that doesn't showcase it in an undesirable way. A sweater or knit dress that just skims the body is really sexy, but if you'll notice, it's not really clinging to all of my body. It clings to a couple of parts here and there, but there's still a little bit of room to move and you can see the body, but you can't see all of the lumps and bumps. If you need something that's a little bit more modest, say for the office, then something that is closer to the body in a stiffer fabric will float along the lines of the body. So you're not wearing anything too big and voluminous, but you're not wearing anything skin tight either. You're just wearing something that kind of floats over the body and really is a very flattering way of showing off your curves. And then you can pair something that is closer fitting with something that is a little bit looser to balance the proportions. So here it would be like a tighter shirt with a looser pant, like a wide leg pant or a skirt. And it works vice versa. If like say you wanna wear a pair of leggings and you wear a looser top on top, both of these approaches will help to balance out the proportions of your body. This particular point pertains to us shorter plus size gals more than anything. And it is something that I personally do all the time. I love my midi skirts because they are feminine and beautiful and they help me to camouflage an area of my body that I am not so confident about. And that is my knees and my legs. And in full transparency, you may be taking a little bit of a styling hit here, but there are ways to mitigate it. The goal here is to elongate the leg and the body as much as possible. And you achieve that with the shoes that you wear. You can wear a pointy toe heel to draw the eye out. It can be a mule or a pump. It could be a kitten heel or a tall heel but just the pointy toe itself is going to help draw the eye down and it's going to give the illusion of longer legs even though you are wearing a longer skirt. 
you could wear a strappy heel to show more of the foot because again the more skin that you show in that area of the body the more it elongates the leg and gives the illusion of more height even though you are wearing a longer skirt then the winner winner chicken dinner here though is to wear a nude pointy toe heel and even better a strappy nude heel both of these are going to help the foot to disappear and it's really going to help you look a lot taller even though you are wearing a longer skirt not to mention the fact that any of these shoe choices are very very feminine and lend to that beautiful feminine style that a midi skirt gives you Now, I believed this for so many years and have just recently embraced stripes because I realized that they are a classic pattern that never goes out of style and they are universally flattering when worn in the right way. So first thing to do here is to keep the stripes narrow. You do not want to have wide stripes because wide stripe is going to imply thickness and that is not what you want to do here. An inch and a half is as wide as I would go and it, the skinnier the stripe of course the better it looks and this applies to both vertical and horizontal stripes. You want to keep the stripes to two colors unless done in a modern fresh way. Now in my plus size frumpy styles that are aging you video, I talked about stripes in multiple colors, but those are horizontal stripes only. If you add more color to it, make sure that the stripe that you're wearing with many colors is done in a really fresh and modern kind of way. Like this shirt that I've got from Anthropology. They've added a third color, albeit a neutral, but they have added that third color, but they've kept it fresh and modern in the silhouette of the shirt, as well as the fact that the stripes are going in multiple directions on the shirt. I really, really love this type of stripe. It makes quite the statement. They also have got a skirt that has got a multicolor stripe done in a really cool, fresh way. So it's all about the execution of the stripe. So you can use your better judgment here as to what works for you with this particular point. And then you could also break the stripes up with a jacket or a blazer. Again, the jacket and blazer, I joke, they hide a multitude of sins. And in this case, it will help to break up the horizontal stripe on your body, giving you the illusion of being slimmer because you've got that opening at the front. And it really is a great way of incorporating a stripe and breaking it up a little bit visually if you're nervous about the fact that a horizontal stripe might make you look a little bit thicker. So if anyone comes up to you again and says, um, you shouldn't be wearing that as a plus size, you can just look them in the eye and confidently say to them, I am the master of my personal style. Get away with you. If you need help with confidence, I have a video for you to watch right here. I'm also leaving you with this video on how to wear a belt as an apple shaped body type so that you can dive into that a little bit further. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in those videos. Bye.